evaluation of minor league prospects is not only the business of team scouts. Sports agents do their homework as well. Hello, Tony. This is Asher Alexander of JLS Sports. We are believers in your potential. I think we could do a lot to help achieve your goal. Uh, like what? From the ranks of hundreds of minor league prospects, the next generation of MLB superstars will eventually emerge. Well, we have a relationship with the front office of the White Sox and with that and every other team, too. When you have a demand or a contract to negotiate, we will see to it that you get what you want. Makes sense. Determining which prospects will be those superstars is big business. Your high school coach has been advising you, right? We actually spoke briefly just after you were drafted. Would it be okay if you, with you if I gave him a call tomorrow? Good idea. Then I'll talk it over with him. And getting in on the ground floor is smart business. Yeah, I'll give him a call right away tomorrow. We would love to take you on, Tony, if you decide you're ready. This prospect has become the object of a notable sports management company's attention. I spoke with Asher Alexander of JLS Sports. He made a good pitch, and the fact is, I do think this time is coming when you'll need more from a representative than I could offer. What do we know about this? But what do we know about this guy and his company? However impressive an agent's qualifications may be, the trading in of a longtime trusted mentor for a corporate wheeler dealer can feel like a scary step. JLS Sports is a very reputable firm, and the fact that Asher reached you personally tells us something about what he thinks of you and your potential. What do you think, coach? You know I wouldn't mess around with your future, Tony. I've vetted this guy and his company, and I think you're a great fit for it, if you feel you're ready for it. Let's do it. Thanks so much for taking me this far, coach. But a fledgling must leave the nest, for a big world awaits. I'll tell him you're in. It's been a pleasure helping bring you along at this point, Tony. I just can't wait to see what you do in the game. Sweet. Alright, and now we got our game to start. <laughs> Sweet. Pitching lineup. Not bad, not bad. I just like that. Four wins, zero loss, seven saves because I had that spree of being a cracking closer. What what fun that was. It's time for baseball now as the show's two. Seemed really fucked up to bring in a knuckleball pitcher to close it out. Ought to be a good one here. Between the Chattanooga look and Tony Cox, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. What do you have for us on him, H? Matt, he's in a great groove right now. The last three outings, ERA under one. So he's been very stingy. Team having a chance to be in every game. He needs to get some run production and then probably get some wins. Leading Standing in, Carlos Peralta. Hey. Get this one. I just can't wait. They're like, man, he's really good. Get him to fucking triple A. He's going to suck ass. I can't wait. I'm probably going to get my shit rocked. If it's easy at triple A, then I'm up in the difficulty one more again. Well, this one of those games you get excited for. You're playing well. You're back home. It's game one of a home stand. And you just want to get that momentum of playing so well and continue it right here at home. Batting second here tonight. Center fielder. Padilla. Padilla. 59 degrees, it's perfect out today. Good night for baseball. 69 degrees here at first pitch. So you a 69. What that means, but I'll show it. Looking at a tough pitch called the strike. Now he'll step off. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Way out there with that slider, Jesus. One out, nobody on. Ooh. And he mounted this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Richard Knight waits on deck. Richard Good Knight. Good on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Big swing and a miss at the knuckler, and now there are two gone. At the plate, Richard Knight. As we take a look at the splits between Richard April and May. Knight. A fastball that finds the outside corner. Rarely do you see me start off with a fastball too often. Ooh, that would have been good if you wanted to chase it. Good hitting right there. Great eyes. I mean, to recognize that and lay off it right now, that, that was nice. Swing and a liner. Foul. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. A swing 
and a shot hit down the corner. Perry sprinting after Ooh, is it God? Oh, just just close. Ends the inning. So a relatively routine They're going to crush the shit out of my fucking knuckleball. I might up the velocity so I throw it a little harder, too, because I do throw it very soft. And it is a slow pitch. It's what it is. Swing and a miss as he tried to muscle up on it. I feel like I'd fuck some people up if I threw a harder knuckleball. Wind up and the 01. And a curveball that time that broke too low. From the wind up, the 1 1 pitch. Now he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And there's the first. All right, I'm over here. He literally is going to throw it to me. Standing in, Chris. Sandoval. I picked the wrong is pitch. Proving to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands Sandoval. this year. The average isn't pretty. Off the plate, ball ball one. Definitely don't want the slider that high. No score here as we play inning number two. In the air, down the left field line and deep. Ooh. Perry is in pursuit. Kind of a day game, so ball will be flying a bit, especially if the knuckleball's getting that high up. Now to the plate, Joe that Wilkerson. Brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this one. This one's down to third. Throw to first in All right. the time, and the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. In the wind up, man. Third inning. Right fielder. And knuckleball dances over the inside corner. The wind up. Well, that knuckleball exclusively. Ooh. Call in there for a strike. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat, but you really never what fastball. You waiting for the fastball, you mean? He's measuring how fast it might be when I throw two knuckleballs in a row. There's your fastball. It goes as hard as 90, but every once in a while I can go to 92. Pitching ahead and account if you're a pitcher, because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. In the one two count, you might be sitting off speed. What happens? He gets the fastball and he can't catch up to the express. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Like I said, I just love the knuckleball pitch. It's just so crazy. It's a little unpredictable and it could really fuck me up if the knuckleball isn't going my way because it's the exclusive pitch here. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. I don't know. I just like it. It's different. <laughs> Instead of me being a fastball pitcher who throws upper 90 pitches like fastballs. And every once in a while, I do use the fastball like that to strike people out. When you're throwing like a 60 mile per hour knuckleball, that 90 mile per hour fastball looks a hell of a lot faster coming out of your hand. He's right. What a good pitch. He went way out of the zone. Oh my god, what is he swinging at? Oh Jesus. It looked like me when I started playing and like hitting like for the first time in playing in MLB games, like when they first like back on the PS2. It's swing at everything. I'm with batting I finally started learning to take pitches. strikes having good command of their off speed pitches this is going to be one of the I just oh, like I said I can't wait to get to triple A and it's going to be like a big turn now first if it is still really easy I'm going to up it again the difficulty but if it but I still feel that once I get to it I'm just going to get crushed like I did when I was in college doing the prospect games that really fucked me up down the way it's a ball and two strikes one and two pitch. The knuckleball oh, just great. misses the inside corner. Getting that call. Boop, boop. There it is. On and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Ready for another chance? Now Richard Knight. First oh for one for him here Richard in this one. Knight. In Switch it up. Throw a curveball to start off the at-bat. Bases are empty here really not minutes. sure what I'll use next. Be a knuckleball. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Ooh. Again, he Got a little bit more play. than I wanted. Ready with 
another 0-2. And this will be chopped foul here at home plate. Just gets a piece of it. Still 0-2. Takes this the other way to right. Right at him. Huh, didn't have to move. And that ends the inning. Riding in once again, Martin Leading McNair comes into this at bat 0 for hitter, 1 in the ballgame. Martin McNair. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Rounded back up the middle. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Ooh. I'm always nervous, like, with, when they hit the ball. Not because, oh, I'll give up a hit. Just like, will my team actually make the play? Because double A's, there are a lot of errors sometimes. Ooh, good stop. And that arm. I was waiting for him to just throw that away for an error. That was a good one on his part. Good range. Good reaction, good range, everything. Okay. Okay. Give me the next pitch. <laughs> Give me the next ball. I didn't even look. One and one count. Here's the pitch. Weak chopper up the line. That winds up foul for the second strike. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Ooh, I was hoping to catch that corner. That one, but he did, and it's two and two. So tough to lay off that pitch he just missed on. That's a sweeping slider. You got two strikes on you. That ball just continues. And we'll have to leave it there. All right. The play is made here to end the inning. Stepping in and ready Got for two at least. Miguel Santiago. Right He'll start there. things out now in the top half of the Santiago. six. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. It's ball one. I love faintly hearing the fans. I threw the ball. That was a ball, and all I hear is, ah, come on. Quezada will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now batting third baseman. All right. I'm never like, oh, I gave up a hit. There goes no hitter. I never go for no hitters, whatever. What do I aim for? I just aim to make sure I can win and keep no scoring to no score. Just to be honest, I like pitching out of the stretch a little more. I'm saying I'm good at it. I just like pitching out of the stretch because it's a little quicker. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding them on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Heading out towards shallow right. Lint moves over. Get over there, Lint. He makes the catch for the second out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. And now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. The Carlos Peralta is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Here comes the 0-1. Now a swing and a ball popped Honk. high in the air over toward foul ground. But Such big, like, foul top. areas. Runner on first with two away. Ooh, the, the curve. And that's how the, inning comes to an end. the curve can be so, so nasty. I love the 12-6 curve. Just that drop. Leading off for Chattanooga. Center field. Juan Padilla is the batter Padilla. now as he looks at a ball of 1 0. 1 0 pitch on the way. And a knuckleball and a tough take. It just missed inside. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. Into the windup. Here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Oh, that bare hand. Nice. This third baseman needs to get this man a promotion. Look what he's doing out there. Got a good dive and play. Got a fucking bare hand. That's beautiful. These players make it look so easy. You forget how hard it really is. for two from him so far in this one. 
and this is in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and oh now. One out, nobody on. Damn it, that ball just dropping. He's really been good this game. Around the plate, throwing strikes, hasn't walked anybody. Right now he finds himself a little bit of a hole, but he can battle back. They can't afford to continue to fall back any further. Oh, well. On the offensive side. How often do you see me try to throw back-to-back -back fastballs like that? But... Drop a bunt, do something. But this oh, offense has to oh, you're not giving me the call now, I'm... I guess my 20 bucks to bribe him has run out. He finally was like, you know what, this is not enough for $20. Hang out right behind the third base coach. <laughs> What's your guys' plan? Step off for a moment there. Standing in now, Chris Sandoval. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on his Ooh, way. there it is. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Now batting, Joe oh, Anderson. that was nasty. Now as he looks at a called strike one. Runners on first and third, two away. That's a and he just misses. Try to get that quarter. To short. And the two out there we go. Ooh, that was close. No Give up a couple hits. Give up a couple hits. Walk the guy. Still don't know why they want me in the game. Unless you want me to go for the complete game. But I feel like they're going to take me out on like the next hit I give up. I'm tired, man. Even though the, you know, I'm a knuckleball pitcher, it's not that bad on the arm. But I'm kind of losing my control. Also, the umpire's starting to say, fuck you. He doesn't want any of these to be mine. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Now the pitch. Line drive to center there we field. go. And that finds you take me out now, coach. So their half of Manager. The opens with a man aboard. There it is. Skipper out of the dugout making the slow. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance. Kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's Seven innings, three hits allowed. Yeah, I one run. Really well. Seven strikeouts, one walk. Dominant. But turned in a good solid effort and definitely was you always like to get a good outing from your starting pitcher <laughs> man went above and beyond they used to always say when the pitcher was player of the game and like the older ones Roger at 82 trading points Unread messages still. Same fucking guy me still send me the damn messages. Oh yeah, I gotta start putting points. I hate that. The only thing I hate is how quickly it goes down. Like, because I haven't put any points in them. I'd understand it going down more if I was older. A first conversation with a new representative can be exhilarating to a young player. All right, I decided to go as we will talk. We think the sky is the limit for you. Now tell me, how are you feeling about your situation with the White Sox organization? Uh, it uh, could be better, I guess. A savvy agent will engender confidence in his client. Confidence that he has a world of possibilities at his fingertips. It's my job to help get you what you want, Tony. Tell me anything that isn't de ideal anytime, and we can look at how we could uh, work to change it. Uh, I mean, I they have decent pitchers. I never really saw myself with the White Sox at all. But the measure of a good agent is how well he can turn these possibilities into actualities. We can get you where you want to go. We'll need to be patient. Though. We have no leverage right now, but things could happen, and we have choices down the road. All right. Let's 
scouting reports, only one guy got a hit against me so far against this team. Well, the, the lineup of this uh, that they have. The show 17. To MLB the show in Another this rainy game. Minor League Baseball. Stepping in, Juan Ramirez. It leads things off here Leading in the bottom the half Tennessee. of the first. And that's in there for a strike. Carol, let's take a look at our visiting Hour club as they take the field here tonight in the bottom of the first. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matt, they won the game last night. I'm going to make sure I up those things, though, said, that are no, decreasing. And if we can do that, we'll be a consistent team and we'll win games. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here he comes again, 1-2. Shot fouled over towards the coaching box. There it is. That ball, that fastball, right where I want it. With that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. Harold, what's the key to continuing the winning streak? Well, I think the key here is their base run. Believe it or not, exactly. they've got to run the bases back. Aggressive style. Hill I love it. I think steal bases. Go first to third, and anytime you have a run in scoring position, just wave it. Force that defense to throw him. Fouled back. Bases are empty, one man out. And another foul. Better get that slider to move That's inside. A nice job of staying alive. A two strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Oh man. He just let that one go. Strikeouts here to open the home first two away. Batting first delivery to him on the way. Julio Espinosa. They like her hesitant. They want to swing. It's not swinging. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. A wave and a miss. What a good pitch. He went way out of the zone to try to swing and catch up to that slider. Now you got him thinking. It's 0-2. Oh, oh man. Everything you want. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. And they'll try to get him in the dirt. There, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. He executed that one-two curveball pretty well. I think it's right where he wanted it to end up, but he couldn't get him to chase at it. We'll see what they go with now after that didn't work out. I was, that, that first out of his hand looked like he was just throwing that away. I was like, oh, shit. I'm always nervous about these guys' arms. Not always accurate. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. The 0-1. I was afraid that was going to hit him in the knees. It's a ball and a strike. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Way behind a goofy knuckleball for strike two. Hey, Matt, I like the cold weather strategy. You're probably saying, what's that, Harold? Well, the ball's up. He knows it's not going to carry on this cold night. So now you elevate out of the zone. You hope they swing at it and get some cheap pop-ups. Yeah, that's exactly my plan. That or just the knuckleball tended to go higher than I expected. Hey, I'll take pop-ups. Forward to make the catch for the first out. Now with the plate, but I like Scott your facial hair and glasses. You looking good. Last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. There's a knuckleball that he looks at cross right down Main Street for a strike. Look, it's fucking thundering in the game. How are we letting this game go on? Bottom of the second here with no score. And he lays off for a ball. Two and one. Well, I like the pitch idea. It looked like he tried to get in the chase right there, make him think that ball's over the plate and it runs away. But he laid off it. I don't know how, but he did. I don't know how, but he did. Right between my legs. Didn't even want to try to stop it or block. Nothing. Check my cup. Well, it looks like just a ground ball base hit and the box scores. But, man, that ball is hit hard up the middle. He's going to do well for himself. He stays consistent and keeps that up. That ain't sick. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at like home plate. Brushed my cup when it went by me. And a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. 
and the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding double play and yes leave it there as the play is made love me those double plays so striding in Herman Slater, Herman Slater. In the victory last night. looks pretty relaxed for a batting stance Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Or he looked at me and he's like, what the fuck is up there pitching right now? I'll go back here. Oh, I'll slip you a 20. Slip the umpire some money. Oh, he couldn't get it down. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Always looks like he could make it if he ran harder, but he's not that fast, I'm assuming, out there. Anderson Ragland. And you see what he's done in recent action. Obviously seeing the ball well right now. Well, there's my ground ball just perfectly down the line. That was I can't complain on beautiful hitting like that. That was a good that was good. We're right back where we started with that RBI base hit. Oh boy. I don't think I did that. I, I did all right in our last reigning game, but. Remember. And a strike as he waves through a knuckleball. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. This is a foul ball. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Ooh. He just watched that one go by. Second time here tonight. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that. In what was that face? Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. It looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. The one and two pitch. Oh, he goes up the ladder on the fastball and pops this one up. We get some pop outs. Into the outfield. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Go for the pop out, why not? Digging in to try it again. Espinosa. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Good stop. Two men are on with two men out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. I still think there should be some sort of railing there. Here we go. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Leading Frank up for Mathis. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Mathis. Outside target here, and he hits a little bit of a rough one. inning, but that happens. Yeah, let's just try to keep it from work, having it that inning only. Oh my god, I can understand arguing that. Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that? <laughs> that dude was like, hey, listen, calling balls, it looked a bit low. Even the best are going to miss some from time that, to time, especially when they're real low. Borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that though. The In batter, now, number three, Scott, three and hitter, very weakly Scott, on the ground. Three Foul ball, however, strike one. A base hit in his first trip. <laughs> Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. That's your classic front door slider. It doesn't break like expected. Your classic All front do door slider. He got the call. Lynn. Yeah, I've been getting some lucky calls. This one away, two down. First offering on its way. Now batting. Left fielder. It swung on and hit in the air. Toward the line and right. And that gets down. And, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And he'll make it in there with a... I like how slow I am. It takes me forever to get past third. Not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looks fluid and confident. Driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. The one and zero delivery. Here's That's a knuckleball that runs two. inside, and he's behind two and zero here. 
That's a good approach with your face and a young arm you might not be too yeah. familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. Hits are even right now at five aside. Oh my god. I can understand getting that, I guess. After my last one where I got Jesus. He's not happy about that. He thought it was a walk. You know he wants to end this inning right here from three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Got the corner. You got a one good call out of there. I just got one back. Ready for another chance? Tim Raider. He'll start things out in the home half of inning number five. Raider turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Swing and a liner. A swing. Uh, this is a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hit out towards second. Wade takes it in. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Oh. A couple of righties starting to loosen now, now in the bullpen. Right fielder, Anderson. Bouncer Ragland. down the line. Arojo. Didn't even have to move. And he'll step on first for the out three. I tell him to start running the first. The camera turning makes me run all over the Into place. The wind up and now the pitch. Looks so silly. Juan Ramirez <coughs> is in with two away as he takes a ball, one and oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. Aye. Knuckleball taken, Aye. and that'll even it up at one. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Well, he doesn't have any walks. Oh, so he's man. He's coming to zone right here. Really avoid throwing that first walk of the game. Stepping into the box. Phil Second Brandon. Eight. Third trip Phil to the plate for three. him here tonight. Brandon. 0 for 2 at this point. No doubt. This is a steal situation right here. Two outs and the leadoff hitter on first. This is the time you roll the dice and hope he gets in the scoring position where he can get a hit to bring him home. Ooh, that's one he wants back right now. Man, it looked like his timing was perfect. He just didn't barrel it up. Pitch out. I got the count. Nothing one doing. Two. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1-1 one -one ball. Game. Hit on the ground to short. Reined in. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to hunt. Your Michael Inoa enters to do the pitch. Me out in the six because he didn't want me in any longer. Gave up a run. Wasn't again a big dominant outing, but hey, I'll take it. Win's a win. I don't understand him taking him out though. I gave up like five hits. That's I got a lot of hits, man. That's literally the handful. Dang. Sure everything else goes up at least one point. All right. 